This is Issa's cat and she's my favorite thing on earth. She's literally like a puppy. That's what she acts like. And I can't handle her cuteness. I want to bring her home with me. Yanni! Look at the camera! Let them see your pretty face! She's not being very cooperative. Hi guys! It's Julie, obviously. I'm in the car right now. I'm just about to leave Issa's house. Issa already left. She had a lesson, so she had to like leave by a certain time, but I don't. So I stayed and talked to Issa's mom for a little bit and then like packed up my stuff. And I'm just about to leave to go to the barn. Um, I haven't vlogged in a while because our last vlog went up and then it was Thanksgiving break. Um, and I didn't vlog then. I kind of really regretted not bringing my vlog camera because we went shopping and it just would have been really fun, I think, to vlog. But I didn't. Um, and then, um, it was finals week at school, so I didn't go to the barn, and I was really stressed. And also, I was planning our giveaway, which by now, that video is up. Did upload the giveaway, it's on our Instagram, it's on our YouTube, all the information is there. Go enter it! It is honestly so cool and so exciting, and like, I just love it so much, and I put so much work and effort into it, and it finally all paid off. These Carhartt hats, Issa mentioned them in a video. So I think it was our last vlog. And I got two of them, I ordered them on Amazon, they're each, they're $10 each, they're such a good price, and they're so warm, and like, really cute and fashionable, but then like, you can also wear them to the barn, because they're actually useful and warm. So I highly recommend 10 out of 10. Also, I have been listening to the podcast My Favorite Murder, um, and it's, it sounds kind of creepy, but it's these two women, and they just, like, talk about, like, murders they've researched, and they're really funny. So if you like, like, true crime, like, anything like that, murder mystery stuff, go listen to it. Um, Blair Fowler recommended it to her subscribers, so I started listening to it, and it's amazing. 10 out of 10 recommend if you like stuff like that. Thought I would just let you guys know.
guys, I just lunched Friday. He was super good. I'm sure as you saw, he was super calm and stretchy and yeah, just really good. I trotted him for about 15 minutes, like seven minutes each way. Does that even add up to 15? I don't know. Um, also, something super huge and like a really great milestone is that Friday is now on like regular turnout. Um, he still comes inside at night, but he but he's outside from like 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. He's so much calmer and so much happier. Brought him some treats to give him, but I don't know if he's gonna want to come get them. Uh, we figured out like the first time he got turned out um, before his leg got infected that it was best for him to have friends in pastures because he just gets like anxious if he was alone but we didn't want him with like big horses that could beat him up and he could re-injure himself. So we put him with the little ponies, um, which he's so happy and it's so cute. So he's out with Coco, Coco! Coco's ignoring me and trying to escape. And then there's Tuck way over there and then Friday and his boyfriend. Friday, I have treats! Friday! Do you want treats? Are you gonna come? I have treats! No? Okay. Oh, now you'll come get treats. Now you will. Don't bite me. That's not nice. Come get the other one. That was nice. Goodbye. Goodbye. I don't have any more. I don't. When I got home from the barn yesterday at like 3 p.m., I had a horrible headache and took like a five hour nap. I woke up like 9.30. I don't know how to do math. Um, but I took a nap and it was horrible. It's like I couldn't fall asleep and I kept waking up and like my headache was still there and it was so painful. Um, so yeah, and then I like took a shower at like 10 and ate dinner at 11. Very messed up schedule. I'm going with my dad to pick out a Christmas tree and then I'm gonna go to the barn. Yeah, so I think I'm actually just gonna give him like a full body bath because it'll probably be the last time I can for a while. So guys, I didn't end up filming like anything at the barn. I didn't have a ton of time and I kind of had a lot of things I wanted to do, but Friday was an absolute dream to lunge. We have moved from 10 minutes of lunging to 20 so 10 minutes of trot each direction and he's so good he's also gotten really good at walking and lunging because he used to just want to trot immediately as soon as he was on it and in a circle but now <laughs> walk for like five to ten minutes on it which is amazing and then i gave him a bath and he was really good for the actual bath part but then just it took forever for him to dry obviously because it's not super warm out and i kept having to change coolers and he was just super antsy by the end of it but he was overall super good. I'm super happy with him. And I'm super happy to have given him a bath and like clean everything and just, it felt nice. Before I went to the barn, I went with my dad to pick out our Christmas tree. We have one fake Christmas tree and one real Christmas tree. Um, and then he decided to let me get a Christmas tree for my room. Which I'm kind of debating if it was a good idea or not because it looks a little bigger than I recall, but it currently is still like wrapped up So I'm a little nervous for when I take it off and it like expands all the way But I'm really excited and a little nervous I just unwrapped it. Um, it's a little big. <laughs> I probably could have gotten a little skinnier one. But I really like it. I don't really love. I have these gold sparkly. I'm pointing in the completely wrong direction. These gold sparkly trees right next to the real Christmas tree. So those might find another home because it's a lot of trees in one place. I think it'll also look a lot better when I have a tree skirt. I don't know if we have another one of those though. Might have to order one. But yeah, I'm really excited. <laughs>